Good morning, folks. Yes, my hair's a little messy. I haven't showered yet because I'm getting ready to do some work. We are going to get all this stuff, which this is trash. I just haven't moved it yet. We're going to get the nursery cleaned up and hopefully get it to where everything's in place so we can start just putting stuff anywhere else that it goes that's not in here so we can get the nursery done. Just an update, it's coming along a little bit. Most of the stuff over here is baby stuff. All the stuff in boxes we just need to take out. Obviously that chair is not, but most of the stuff left in here is just baby stuff, so now we're gonna get that situated. We've got changing table set up. We just put the toy chest up, which I actually did incorrectly. I need this to be, there we go. Toy chest is up. Getting ready to get this stuff in place. Clean this stuff out. Overall, it's looking way Overall, it's looking way better and coming together as a nursery. All right, another update. We got the crib cleaned out, except for a couple things. Uh, somebody gave us this. This was before we knew if we were having a boy or a girl. Uh, mattress sheet. This area is cleaned out a little bit. We got the toy chest up. Can't remember if I said that or not already. Um, this obviously isn't how the changing table is going to stay. Um, we're just getting stuff out of the way. This is a box of clothes we need to wash. Um, and then this green tote has like diapers and stuff in it. We're gonna find a closet for those toys because those are like once the baby gets older, not necessarily for right now. And then all we have left to do is clean out this little corner and the nursery is not necessarily gonna be done, but it's gonna be one step closer to where even if Tracy would go into labor tomorrow, the baby can live in here. The level of difficulty that it is in order to put stuff together for a baby is stupid. What? This thing, this thing was ridiculous to put together. We're not even done yet. And we're not even done And yet. also I would like to not be on camera, but I would like to just say, I feel like we're fairly intelligent people. And I think about people that have babies that aren't. <laughs> and I wonder how they do these things. It is, this is ridiculous. Because this is like... This is really bad. Like, I have two bachelor degrees, and I can't do this. Yeah, it's stupid. The directions are very misleading. They don't tell you which part is which. They're just like the gray piece, and they're both white. <laughs> so, it's dumb. Anyway, update you when this is done. All right, and we are done with the nursery today. We got a little bit set up. Uh, still going to move that, but other than that, uh, it actually looks kind of like a room. This is gonna go in our room for the baby to sleep in for the first little bit. Um, yeah, this, that's all clothes that we have to wash that we've got. So next stop, the only thing that sucks is all the stuff we took out of that room is now right here. And I gotta find a place for it. All right, I got that done. Floor is clean, except for Magazine rack over there, which I gotta give to my brother. That's actually a bunch of tattoo magazines. Um, my brother will do tattoos, so he has those. He let me borrow them at one point, and I've just never given them back. So, give those back. So yeah, nursery is, for the most part, livable. Uh, now we just gotta clean up a little bit in the kitchen. Other than that, I'm gonna go jump in the shower. I didn't shower because I knew that I would be sweaty, like working this morning. So, now I'm gonna go get in the shower, and I'm gonna get the rest of the day started. Man, it feels good to get showered. Next up, I'm not going to film a whole lot of this because I know it's boring and there's not really anything to film. I have to do this entire bag of clothes. That's the last bit of my clothes that needs washed um, from the from the bedroom. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to hang out. I'm going to maybe play a little bit of Fallout. I've gotten really big into Fallout um, again recently. I never beat it the first time I played it. As a matter of fact, I only played it for maybe 10 or 12 hours. But I really want to get into it and give it a fair shot because as soon as Skyrim comes out, well... That'll be all that I do, and then at the point when I stop playing will be the when the baby's here. So I'm going to play that for a little bit. But anyway, that's what's going on, um, and I'll catch back up with you guys here in a few. Hey, Trey. What? 
What did you think about all the birthday wishes you got via the comment section? I liked them. How much did you like them? I thought they were very nice. Did it mean a lot to you? Mm hmm How much? Uh, I don't know. What are you doing? I'm recording a video. I know, but you're being weird. <laughs> I gave that to you. Here, so Bob. You get rid of it. You want to watch some football? Huh? Or you want to stay in here with Mom? Probably wants to stay in here with Mom. Also, while I was cleaning out the nursery, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys this stuff. Um, I got these when I was young, uh, at Christmas time. Let me show you. It is WWF Attitude Micro Machines. Got The Rock. Whoop. Got The Undertaker. Steve Austin. McFoley, and I don't know if it's purposely a... Uh, uh, incorrect, but it's Steve Austin with the McFoley or Mankind car. I'm not sure what that's about. Not to mention with the Sable car, there's a Steve Austin. And Kane. I don't know, it's just something that uh, my, uh, it's actually my stepmom's mom bought me for Christmas when I was young because I was a big wrestling fan. Still am a big wrestling fan. But um, I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys that. Those are cool little collectibles. I need to figure out a way to properly display them. I don't think I'm going to leave them in that rack, but that'll be way later. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Yesterday, I mentioned, or Tracy had mentioned in the background that she also got Bump in the Night. We went and picked that up today. Actually, Tracy did. Bump in the Night, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I'm actually very unfamiliar with this. We did watch one episode. Uh, once I get into it, there's 26 episodes in total in the series. Um, once we get further into that, I will, you know, give you guys my opinions on it. Um, it's going to be a while. Right now, I think this is going on the back burner. Not really back burner, but we need to burn through Hey Arnold and then Doug. And then this and a bunch of other stuff that we're watching. So, But once we get a little further into it, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. Um, I watched the first episode. I really dug it. If you like kind of that uh, early 90s-ish... Um, it was like 94, so mid-90s, claymation type of stuff. It's very, very cool. Phew, my clothes are finally finished drying. And I'm going to holler at you guys in a bit because I have quite the bit of clothes to fold. Not to mention, I have to put my clothes, my the, I have more clothes in the wash that I have to put into the dryer. So, this giant pile of clothes. This is probably going to take me like several, I don't know, maybe an hour to fold all that. That's a ton of clothes. I should probably not let my clothes get to the point where they're backed up like that. But these are in a trash bag. It's clothes that I had in the baby's room. So this is actually going to maybe be able to provide a little bit more clothing for me to wear during the vlog so it doesn't become just the same three or four shirts over and over. So that's always good.